your parents always pushed you and your sister to experience New York City culture in mm -hmm. full. Why do you feel now is the time in your life to take that approach and apply it traveling the world? It's really taking what was a domestic approach, i.e. obviously we were in New York. We were, that's where most of our travels were localized. I was fortunate in that my parents not being from here. I have family in um, obviously the West Indies. I have family in London. So my international trips started at an early age. The first time I, I traveled overseas um, and went to London, I was six. Okay. So that's always been, I guess, a part of the experience. Mm -hmm. So as I look forward probably into 2011 and, and beyond, um, adding, uh, you know, taking everything I've been doing from the influencer world and the marketing world and, and creating a new lifestyle platform, creating, you know, a new branded experience, it just seemed that travel was a, a major part of that. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we didn't want to have happen with, with Influencer as we looked to, ex to expand that platform is to have a you know, US centric or a New York centric approach mm -hmm. to things. Um, influencer culture is global. And you know, if you want to understand that, you have to plug into the communities where they are. Yeah. You, know, you, you don't want to, um, have this cultural imperialism where you impose, you know, your viewpoint, your way of doing things on a on an international audience. I would rather, you know, kind of get in there, find out what's working for them, how they interact with one another, what's hot, what's not hot, mm -hmm. and and really get a fuller understanding of how that all works. Yeah.